defense. You got Odell signing for eight million in yes. Miami. Yes, yes. Salty Ravens fans were like, "Oh, I don't know why he would go to Miami. He's he's gonna get less targets." I'm like, "Where? <laughs> Even if I get less targets, I'm in Miami. Where am I getting less targets? I'm going. But why you think you're gonna get less targets in Miami? They, they throw 40, yeah. 40 plus times. Shit, a day. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, get more. <laughs> You talking about Tyreek Hill's getting double team regardless, and J- Jalen Waddle is going to be taking defensive. T- you, I, I get the intermediate by myself. I get to run my slants. Yeah, I can show my route running and get get put in motion. And I have put a, linebackers on me. I have an offensive right. mind that's going to scheme me looks. What? Yeah, put a linebacker or a safety on me, man, please. And Tua don't like to throw deep, so so all this all these eight to fifteen yard routes. That's me. That's my shit, <laughs> man. Listen. Good move for the uh, Dolphins. They still soft. We still not worried about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they get cold, you, but it's, it, it, this, this is the step up from Cedric Wilson. I tell you that. I was about to ask who was in that that slot for them last year. And yeah, one hundred. That's, that's why they paid eight million. Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, yeah, but you got Hill and Waddle on the outside. You put that in the middle. That's crazy. Devin the chain in the backfield like they and nobody talks about they, a chain yeah. and that speed. Yeah. Most are uh, just as fast. Like Moster, they, both, they, they both drafted, us. they drafted a, a a a kid that runs like four three. And this is random. It has nothing to do with anything. The Rams drafted Blake Corum, right? Yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. shit is going to be one of those under the radar type of deal. Like he can. Who, who drafted him? The Rams. The Rams right? yeah. They're gonna have Blake and Kyron Williams How with, about the, uh, with Puka and Cooper. I thought the Chargers draft. The, it was the it was the Rams. I what might be wrong. I apologize. It's the Chargers. I'm pretty it's sure. The Chargers. Was it no, was the, the Rams. Rams. It's the Rams. You're it's right. the Rams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. It's the Rams. Okay, I was about to say, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be yeah, because he. McVay and that was random McVay. as hell. But I'm just thinking of like nah, yeah, that's good I was just thinking about like explosiveness and like weapons and whatnot. And I was just thinking about the Dolphins. I'm like, yo, that's. I mean, people cook up, man. If you let them, they maintain through that whole. F them picks mm-hmm. or that they had. They they maintained and was able to stay competitive. I mean, and now that you got these Nakua's and all of that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, it's really F them picks. Flow easy. Earning your, you earning your keep doing that. It's very interesting, like, different team philosophies because the Ravens will say, like, we don't believe in trading up, even if our guy is like five picks ahead of us. You know, we don't believe in trading up. And it's Bryant. Yeah, there's <laughs> Bryant. I think there was a, uh, I think Javon Baker. Or it was somebody in, in that uh, 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 like ten picks before the Tez pick that we could have uh, moved up and got. It might not have been Javon. It was somebody though. But that's just not our philosophy, and and that's okay, I guess. But you know, it's just interesting to see the differences and philosophies different teams like teams like the Eagles. You know what I mean? Like they're aggressive and they they move their chess pieces aggressively. You know, can you can you say has it amounted to a Super Bowl? Well, I mean, it did kind of, you know, a few years back. But, you know, different teams, different philosophies. Same with the Steelers. They got the family first philosophy, you know, oh, loyalty and shit. Like, oh, now nah, we ain't got to be loyal to Kendra Green, my G. No, we, we don't have to do this. No, we don't. <laughs> That's one reason why I like Omar. Omar, yo, Kendra Green, you got to go, buddy. Got to go. You got to go. Hey, Kenny, you, though. you can come Kenny. back to Steelers games. I promise. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> I'm still surprised oh, y'all traded Kenny. I ain't going to hold you. I'm still surprised y'all got like. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm shocked too. I thought he was just gonna be on the He's bench. A liar. <laughs> I thought, no, not even a lot. I just thought he was gonna be on the bench. But like, he yo, start I don't want to compete. I don't want to compete. All right, bye. He start whining. All right, get out of here then. I'm gonna trade you to the Eagles. And when you say with that pick, we got we drafted Peyton Wilson with that pick. The eighties hat is tough. God. Yeah, no, I that's a, that's you. a it's a cultural staple. Right, it's a it cultural gotta staple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I need me one of them. I haven't had one in a while, but like you know, it's up there with the Yankee hat. It's up there with the Yankee hat. And the and the the White Sox hat too. That's the White Sox. Pittsburgh. How is they not in the AL East? I don't care. Yeah. I'm now. I would never get a Yankee hat. I would never get a Yankee (laughs) hat. Because Atlanta had uh, Nick out on. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, always go. It was a staple. It was a staple. All right. NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs.